um, this is a very quick um, tutorial, I guess, on how to put together this card. So this easel card was uh, featured on my social media recently and I had a few requests um, to show you how I did it and it's actually quite straightforward. So it is an easel card so you have a base that um, folds and it sits up onto something so that um, it can sit flat on its surface like that. And I have used the Country Bird House stamp set or bundle actually um, including the dies just um, to put this one together as well as a punch so the punch I used is the vows punch um, there we go I think I can get that in without it being too glary there we go so that one and I have just punched a few things out so I'm actually have pre-assembled some of this so I'm going to show you how it goes together um, so and it so it doesn't take forever in the video as well so I have chosen a different color scheme or very a little bit different um, I'm not using blue I'm using green so let me pop this one to the side over here um, you'll probably still be able to see it on the screen if I move these out of the way there we go and I'm going to bring in the elements. So first of all, because I am an Australian demonstrator, everything here is in centimetres. So let me move this out of the way a little bit. Um, so I have cut just a normal card base, half an A4 and scored it in half. What I did then on my, this is going to be my front, is I have um, cut in, this is a three and a half centimetre panel. This is a three and a half centimetre panel. This works out to be about eight centimetres. So I'm going to show you very quickly what I then do. So I have already cut those using my trimmer. So they sit like that. But I want this centre panel here to actually have a, um, um, a fold in it. So you can see, so these are your two side panels. This is the middle panel and it has to, ha has to have a fold so it folds in half. So this is 10 and a half centimetres here. So you're going to have to get it almost exact, but not quite. So that will mean... Ten and a half, so that's five and 0.25. So there we go there. I'm going to bring my trimmer um, scoring blade up and just score it. It doesn't matter if it goes slightly over onto those other two panels. And there you go, it's scored. Okay, so this comes together, like I said, very, very quickly. I'm going to fold it using my bone folder to keep it nice and flat and this will be the first thing we do we actually glue those down it's just to add the stability to the card um, so it is nice and firm a firm surface very straightforward fold it down and glue it like so now I'm hoping that you can see I'm terrible when I do videos I tend to pull everything closer towards me um, here you can bone fold brayer up down there we go um, sorry burnish down both of those so this is what's going to sit up this is your piece that folds up okay now I had used a retired DSP for this one because I went searching through all my DSP stash and at the moment I'm trying to use everything that I have whether it's retired current um, coming into the new catalog whatever I just want something that was going to suit the theme so I have my panels pre-cut here and this paper was oh I don't know a couple of years ago now but kind of fit the theme perfectly for the birdhouse so the two side panels first of all the two side panels um, they are three centimeters wide and 10 centimeters high so we're going to put those on so basically you're just ending up with a half a centimeter difference and that gives that little border let me just center it on there like so so I was really 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 happy when I saw um, this particular bundle at on stage um, I saw it and immediately thought of really bright colors um, when I say bright, like lots of contrast. So in the original one, the yellow and the navy really kind of pop against each other. So this one again is your granny apple green and your basic black. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to do um, the inside panel first. So this one here is um, 10 centimetres 
uh, sorry, eight centimeters wide, 10 centimeters high. Um, and that fits right inside that groove that the two panels actually make that are glued down already. So we're gonna pop that one down. This becomes what you see or part of what you see when you open up the card or stand it up, I should say. Now the next one, we only want to adhere on here. This becomes our, and it does fit exactly on this panel. So it covers up the whole panel page pretty much, except for the top and bottom. And this will sit up like that. So we're going to adhere on the bottom. And yes, I am using a reasonable amount of glue here because I do want this to um, sit really nicely. So I still have that little bit at the bottom and the top as a border, but the rest actually really fits on that whole panel. It's exactly the same width. Very simple. So that actually adheres like that. So only on the bottom section. And then when this folds, it sits up. Very clever because it gives dimension to your card. So. Let's go to the inside piece. So the inside piece on this one, my sample, um, has a little sign on, on the top of the post. So let's start with the post. So I have pre-done pre these. So here is the post, it's um, die cut out of um, the bundle. I have actually used, and I'll bring this in because I've done another set because I am working smart and making a few extra, but I have got um, the 3D timber, I think it's called, embossing folder. And I have embossed a few things, a few elements on that. And then I've used um, a blending brush just to add a bit of tone on tone ink to add a little bit more dimension. So that will give us this shadowing. And I have cut two of those um, shapes out and glued it together once I'd embossed um, that front one because I wanted it fairly stable. And then you can see I've added quite a fair bit. I mean, they're only the mini dots, but I have added quite a few of those. So I'm gonna pop that on now just because um, it makes more sense for me. And I'm gonna pop this so it is right at the bottom in the center. It sits at the bottom there in the center. And it actually sits up. Let me see if I can get, whoops. You can see it sits up on there. And that is what holds up the, um, our easel when we actually put it together. Okay, let's do our, um, our birdhouse. So I have started to assemble the birdhouse, but I have got a few tips for you. So here's the partly assembled birdhouse. Um, I have got a few more bits here to add on. Um, but let me first of all tell you about, so I have done, um, again, some shadowing with the blending brushes on the parts that I did cut out and um, send through the embossing folder. I have stamped a couple of um, birds, exactly the same as my original. Um, one of the birds I actually did on a piece of glass um, so that when I um, stamped it onto my um, white cardstock, it was in the opposite direction. It will be slightly lighter quite often, but that, that, that shouldn't matter. So you can see on this card, I've used different sentiment, but again, whatever. Um, the background on this one was a Knight of Navy and I had added the speckled stamp. So there is a speckled, let me see if I can get that, speckled stamp in the, um, in that stamp set, which I love. So I've added that, but I wanted to show you a quick tip on how to color um, a large image like the birdhouse. Um, I do use a blending brush, but what I do is I actually put it back into, let's move this to the side. I put it back into the die, hold the die in place with my fingers and use my blending brush over the top. Now, so for this one, um, I always start sort of where I don't want a, a lot of heavy ink because um, it does tend to be quite heavy when you first inked it up. So I start at the bottom because this bottom section here and this one at the top um, and the little circle are all going to get um, covered. So I sort of use those and I did just sort of add lots and lots. Then I use that speckle one. It's pretty hard to tell on this one, but I did stamp a few extras. Let me bring this up to the camera a little bit. Hopefully you can see there's some speckling there. It just adds that little bit of 
I don't know, um, depth. And I've done it on some of my leaves as well. So I have used um, both of the, the punch and also the die for the leaves in this set. So let me add the last few before I pop it onto here. <clears throat> so I'm going to add some more leaves behind here and down here. So you can see I've already um, inked this one up and also added the speckle. So I'm going to just add, this is where things get a little messy, <laughs> but I'm going to add it behind so that it sticks out like so. Want the greenery hanging out. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, a bit of a coughing fit. All right, so then I add a few more um, and I may even have to stamp a few more, um, punch a few more out. I just kind of add and add until I've got enough. Um, so these ones here to one side. Now the idea is, is that that bird is going to actually sit on those branches. I'm going to bring the bird in and he's going to sit there. So I'm just going to add glue to his little feet area. Tuck him behind one of them so that he is sitting right there. Um, I have got a laminated surface that I um, use, but you can use um, something that you can wipe clean because you will get lots of ink everywhere if you um, do things like I do. <laughs> Another one just to add a bit more. So I'm just gonna add a bit more using all these different elements. And this is how I tend to embellish. Um, I just keep adding whilst it looks right. And I kind of tuck them so that they're layering on top of each other. Um, I've got a couple of, um, a couple of these little ones which are great for poking out. And I just hold them there for a second and just I'm really gentle as I go. Um, the reason being is because otherwise I make a big, big mess. <laughs> um, and another one there. And I just kind of hold it for a second and then it will start to adhere. As you can see, I've got one more which I'm going to poke in here as well. So there's no science to this, it's just a case of adding it until it looks about right. There we go. Now you'll notice there's one more bird. Okay, he he's gonna go on the inside here. So let's pop him in whilst this dries just for a minute. And I'm gonna pop him in and I'm gonna actually use, oops, some dimensional, he did stick to my hands. It's because I've got very sticky hands now. And of course I've lost my dimensionals whilst I'm trying to show you. We go. Doesn't have to be a lot to stick him on. Um, and I am just using the miniatures at the moment. My others have disappeared, so that's okay. All right, add this little birdie here. We don't want him past this panel because we want him hidden until you open it up. All right, so let's add this to our front panel, which is going to sit here. So we want it to actually sit right on that bottom there. And it's pretty straightforward. I am actually going to just adhere the whole lot on the back, which is a great way to make sure that all those little leaves, just put a few dabs on the backs of those, just around there, making sure you don't kind of go past your birdhouse, but the majority of them have got some glue on them, so it will actually stick. Okay, line him up. So this kind of card is really cute because not only does it give that illusion that something is sitting up, like so, <laughs> very cute. And you could put it a bit lower, but that's just the way I've done it. Um, but it also um, 
it ju it's just pretty because it, it, it doesn't tend to fall over. You know how you put cards up on a shelf and they fall over? This one doesn't. So this is a little bit um, less bold, I guess you could say. It doesn't pop quite as much as that one. Totally different, just showing you that you can use different DSP. It doesn't have to be blue. It doesn't have to be that one. Um, you can use plain cardstock if that's what you prefer and add all this speckling and stuff like that. Now, of course, you can add in, I'm going to leave this one because I've got something special to go in there and I can't put it on um, camera, but um, I'm going to, um, you can just add a simple little panel in there with happy birthday or whatever it is that you might be um, doing. And there is the card. I hope this helps. Um, a few people had sort of said, oh, how does this go together? I hope it helps. It actually is not as complicated as it looks and it is kind of cute. So thanks for joining me. Hope you go and check out my other um, videos as well. I've got some coloring ones and some other tutorials from our monthly global video hop. So pop on over there. Um, please leave a um, comment. I love to see that people have been by. Um, say hello and also um, subscribe because why not? You'll find my other videos will um, pop along and you'll get a notification. Thanks very much, everybody. Bye.